I recently had there's another group that is using tea leaves in their pilau to brown the rice. What is the problem? Hello there, my name is Rita and I'm the cooking nurse and today I'm going to show you my chicken pilau recipe because I had this leftover chicken that had been marinating with the rest and once I defrosted and used the other for what I wanted to use it, I decided to make pilau with this one. Yeah, and then also decided to film it and share this recipe. I already had some recipe on my channel but that was like when I had started, started, I didn't know much better than i do now so i'm gonna sharing every stage i reach on i share i reshare i reshare okay we are learning together and this whole thing so what we're going to do is put some little oil on our heavy best pan and then add the other chicken and brown it on all sides this these are broilers they are a little bit soft so most times they are going to stick on the pan yeah but we move anyways it's the same pan we're going to be using so no flavor is escaping i covered so that the heat is evenly distributed and my chicken is well cooked before i end or like add the rice in and do all the remaining procedures of this recipe so if you are new here i want you to know that you're so much welcome here we joke a lot we cook whatever we find and we make it make sense no matter what we have in the fridge okay everything here has to make sense and i urge you to subscribe so that you become part of this family which also in turn helps me you know this chicken ah, why isn't it turning which also helps me grow it helps other people who are like you to get to notice my channel and then i also you know get in their faces and in turn it helps me grow thank you so much and my returning subscribers thank you so much so once the chicken has browned and it's golden brown we're going to go in with our onions uh, cut in longs like julienne so we're just going to put them there and then toss them around until they are golden brown and fragrant and really aromatic not burnt thank you very much yeah so not burnt and then we're going to go in with our garlic i'm adding in some garlic and ginger mixture that i've chopped together and then i'm going to keep on tossing this i think i need a wooden spatula because this one is not working properly properly how i want it the onions and the meat is getting stubborn but yeah whatever spatula you're using make sure to keep on tossing them and then once they are all wilted and golden we're just going to go in with about a teaspoon or a full heaped teaspoon of pilau masala and then we're going to add in some little bit of cumin because we want a little bit more of you know a pick me up or a push and i really love cumin and then i'm going to add in some small turmeric just to elevate the color and then also because my pilau masala doesn't seem to have a lot of it i just wanted to have that flavor of turmeric in there not too much because we don't want to make yellow rice the pilau masala stays more i used about i think two teaspoons and then uh one teaspoon of cumin and then half a teaspoon of turmeric toss this around and then you're going to transfer your rice into this i do not know if your team wash rice tell me in the comment section do you wash your rice because i do not once i buy my packed rice i assume the person who packed it was serious enough to wash it and then because i'm going to put in water i also assume that the water is going to cook all the bacteria there yeah because there's there's no reason not, starch hasn't done anything to me so i'm not removing the starch if i'm washing i'm washing to remove the dirt not the starch thank you toss it around and make sure everything is well coated just like this and then at this stage we are going to go in with our broth which is a chicken broth um i'm a cook i like cook on a daily so most times i'll have chicken stock beef stock in the freezer going and then this happens to be one of those days when i have at least a cup of chicken stock so i'm going to add it in and then i'm going to add in another amount of the same but plain water yeah tap lager if you don't have stock no problem you can use water the flavors and the chicken if you let them cook properly they are going to come out nonetheless so i'm going to you know the rule two to one one rice two waters or two liquids but the other rule is i always add in a little bit more water uh so that my rice gets time to you know puff up properly it's not hard in the middle it's cooked perfectly because this pan was a little bit you know uh like that the things burnt from down i'm just trying to deglaze it with my spatula gently um the rice is not yet cooked so no i'm not breaking it and once i am sure that that is deglazed i'm going to cover it now i'm testing for salt and it seems the salt is not there enough of it oh yeah 
the stock that I put in had some salt. I forgot to say, but the stock that I put in had some salt, so you're going to have to season and make sure the rice, uh, the salt is not too much because once the water reduces, then the salt stays in your food. So you put in very little salt and then mix everything up together, making sure the pan is deglazed or else the rice is going to burn from down and mix, mix everything and cover it and leave it alone. Go about your business, go on TikTok, go on YouTube, everything else, do leave the rice alone okay but yeah since me i'm filming i can come and open and check but ideally you should just leave the rice alone cook it on low heat you're not rushing anywhere and that's it i'm going to be adding in a cinnamon stick i love the smell of cinnamon in my rice but i do not also like love too much cinnamon so i put it in towards the end so that the flavor is like well distributed but not too much that's why i'll put in like a small break like a small thing of uh, cinnamon and as you can see the rice is ready there is not a lot of magic we didn't add in a lot of things just have your kachumbali ready and serve your rice like a pro so let's make the kachumbali olive oil lemon juice black pepper salt chili flakes and then we're gonna go, go in with our diced red onions uh seedless tomatoes coriander tostos the salad is done you're welcome this was a bonus in it so you're going to serve your pilau and what is pilau without kachumbali spicy kachumbali by the way mm -mm. it's not accepted anymore in this economy thank you so much guys for watching up until this time i hope to see you soon in my next videos if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and follow me on my other platforms the cooking nurse as always and enjoy bye